classic fairy tales. It's story time. Noah's Ark. Long, long ago, when the world was still new, God looked down and saw that the people on earth had become wicked. They had forgotten that God wanted them to be good. Instead of helping each other, they spent all their time fighting and hurting one another. All this wickedness made God unhappy. But an old man named Noah remembered God. Noah and his family spent their days working hard and being kind to their neighbors and to each other. God was pleased with Noah and his family. One day God spoke to Noah. The world is too full of wickedness, God said, and I am going to send a flood to destroy the earth and everyone on it. But I will keep you and your family safe. Ooh, what must I do? asked Noah. Build a big boat called an ark, said God. It must be big enough to hold you and your whole family and two of every animal in the earth. Noah got to work right away. His sons, Ham, Shem and Japheth, all helped. They planned and measured, they chopped and sawed, they hammered and heaved, and together they built a great strong ark. At last the ark was ready. Noah's wife, his sons, and his sons' wives all climbed aboard. Then Noah gathered two of every animal on earth. Every creature that hopped or walked or crawled or flew came to board the ark. There were cats and bats and rats, monkeys and donkeys, hooting owls and wolves that howled, kangaroos and kinkajous, big baboons and little raccoons, so many animals of all sorts of shapes and sizes. The ark held them all. When the last animal had climbed aboard, Noah went inside and shut the door of the ark. Then the rain started to fall. It rained and rained and the water rose higher and higher, covering everything on earth. Even the tops of the highest mountains were underwater. But the ark floated on the water and inside everyone was safe and warm and dry. Finally, after 40 days and 40 nights, the rain stopped. The strong winds began to blow, drying up the water. Soon the mountain tops appeared and the ark came to rest on a mountain called Ararat. One day Noah sent a raven out of the ark, soon it came back. It had not found anywhere to land. A week later, Noah sent a dove out. This time it came back with an olive branch in its beak. So Noah knew that it had found some trees and that the earth was almost dry. Noah waited another week, then sent the dove out again. This time the dove did not come back. It had found a place to land. It is time to leave the ark, Noah told his family. He opened the door and all the animals went out. All the birds and beasts and all the creeping crawling creatures. They spread out to find homes and raise their families. Finally, Noah and his family left the ark. They were so happy to be back on dry land. The first thing Noah did was pray to God to say thank you for keeping him and his family safe from the flood. 
Suddenly, Noah saw something beautiful in the sky. A bright shining rainbow. This rainbow is a sign of my promise to you, Noah. God said, I will never again send a flood to destroy the earth. These days, whenever we see a rainbow in the sky, we remember Noah and God's promise to him and to us. And they live all happily ever after. The end.